Hello learners, how are you all? Happy to meet you all again in the Early Childhood Care and Education course of BA Special Education. So in the previous class, we have started the course called Early Childhood Care and Education and we have started learning the unit number one and the subunit 1.1 that is facts about early childhood learning and development. Let us recall what we have learned in the previous class, then we will proceed to the next points of this program. Okay. So in the last class, we have learned the importance of early, ch early childhood development, the important milestones of development, typical development of children between 1 to 12, 12 months, the advice is for parents and caregivers to take, take care of children of 1 to 12 months. And finally, the warning signs to watch for children of 1 to 12 months also. So with this background, we will go to the next topic that is also a follow up activity of this one because all the above aspects will be covered in this lesson also for the age group of children between 2 and 8 years. Okay, let us move on to the today's topic. So what happens to the child at 2 years of age? A child should be able to walk, climb and run and it should point to objects or pictures when they are named. Like if you, if you ask the child at 2 years, show where is the nose point your ears it should do okay it should try to identify and touch the body part and the child should be able to say several words together <clears throat> and then follow simple instructions like bring some water sit down stand up go there come here like that if you are telling simple instructions it should follow at this age and every child at this age will be loving to scribble or trying to do some drawings okay if you are giving a pen or pencil or crayons every child will start scribbling on paper or wall or any any plain any plain uh, platforms okay and the child uh, should be able to enjoy simple stories and songs and the, uh, this is a quite natural for a two year old child to enjoy uh, enjoy the stories and listen to songs and it will imitate the behavior of others this is an important point you please note it down because at this age group imitation of others behavior starts here okay this is a natural happening in order to learn new things from others doings. So every child at two years will start imitating others behavior in order to learn new behaviors. Okay. Then it will, uh, the, the children uh, will begin to eat by himself or herself. Okay. And what are the advices for parents and caregivers at this age group to take care of this age group children? Uh, uh, we, should, we should be watching the children whether they are uh, uh, reading or singing, uh, playing games with other children. This is an important thing because at this age group, if you see children not playing with others, not enjoying songs or singing, uh, we should be careful to uh, intervene uh, the child with a uh, doctor or any psychologist okay <clears throat> at this age we have to teach the children uh, to avoid dangerous objects because at this age group uh, children will be uh, uh, children will be trying to uh, take any things they see and they will try to bite it and taste it okay it will be uh, harmful to their uh, health so we need to teach them about this 
and, and we have to talk to the child normally and we should not use any baby talk we should talk like an adult because the child is trying to imitate us so that it will learn how to communicate okay how to speak also normally okay and and still uh, we need to give nutritions healthy nutritions to the child so we can continue to breastfeed and ensure the child has enough food and a variety of family foods okay then we should make sure the child is fully immunized so we have to follow all the instructions given by the pediatrician or uh, health officer and we should make sure that all the immunizations are given to the child at this age and we should encourage and not to force the child to eat encouraging is different forcing is different so by way of telling politely pleasantly the child should be able to eat by herself or himself and we should encourage and we should provide simple rules and set reasonable expectations this is also important just like that we cannot leave the child we have to monitor them what they are doing and all right and uh, we, we should praise the child's achievement provide reassurance when the child is afraid and continue to give consistent affection every day praising the child will do wonders so let us generously praise the child for their even little achievements it will it will make the child grow fully then what are the warning signs at this age lack of response to others if the child is not responding to others it's a problem maybe a physical problem or maybe a behavioral issue we should look into it difficulty keeping balance while walking if the child is not keeping the body balance while walking we should concentrate on injuries and unexplained changes in behavior especially if the child has been cared for by them by others if you are noticing any injuries any unexplained or changes in the behavior unexpected behaviors we should be more careful what is happening to the child and check what what is going wrong and lack of appetite the child is not at all interested in eating and uh, skipping uh, breakfast skipping lunch or skipping supper it will also affect the child's health and uh, mental development so these are the important aspects that we can take it as warning signs for a developing child at two years you understand all this points with importance so let us uh, jump on to the three year see the nature of three year old girl it will walk run climb kick and jump easily and it recognize and identify common objects common objects and pictures by pointing make sentences of two or three words say his or her name and age name colors understand numbers use make believe object in play feed herself or himself express affection and these are the typical nature of a 3 year old boy or girl so what are the advices for parents and caregivers the child should read and look at books with the child and talk about the picture if you see a 3 year old child in general if the child is seeing some pictures or some books 
it will explain it to the other child tries to explain it to the other child okay uh, tell the child stories and teach rhymes and songs three years of age you should uh, you will be seeing the uh, increased development of uh, language in a child so to encourage language development and to create interest on speaking singing using a language we should tell little little stories and teach them beautiful enjoyable rhymes and songs okay we should give the child his or her own bowl or plate of food we should continue to encourage the child to eat giving the child as much as time she or he needs we should not make the child hurry to eat or complete the food for very fast because the it is they are all children they they need proper time enough and more time to eat the given food okay and we should help the child learn or learn to dress use the toilet and wash wash hands with soap so these things so keeping keeping oneself clean and the environment so even uh, this is the simple thing we observe in every everyone's life that everyone's house that if you are uh, sitting for a supper children will come and sit directly to eat without washing hands this is a bad habit so we should teach them before coming for taking food we should wash our hands before sitting okay and we should listen to and answer all the child's question maybe we feel we adults feel that responding to responding to or answering to a uh, child's questions is a very tough task yes it is really tough but it is our this is our child we need to take care of uh, the child so let us try let us try to understand their simple or silly questions and try to answer to satisfy them because they are step by step learning everything and we should encourage creative play building and drawing and we should give the child simple tasks such as putting toys uh, putting toys in a, a safe or a shelf it 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 will build responsibility um, in a child while growing okay and we should limit television watching and ensure that violent shows are not viewed because this is the age of learning fastly so if the child is spending more time with the television there are chance there are chances for a child to see violent violent acts shows like it will definitely create a negative attitude or negative behavior in a child so we need to limit television watching without parental control we should not allow the child to watch tv and the mobile phone also and we should acknowledge and encourage positive behavior and set clear limits we should provide consistent affection every day if available enroll the child in early learning or play activity uh, play school like thing with uh, this will this will encourage more activity uh, encourage the child to involve in more activity with other children because uh, during the early developmental period if the child is given such opportunity uh, while growing up and uh, becoming adults or adolescent period it will not the child will not face much problem in moving with other children okay we should encourage um, um, interacting with other children the same age, same age peer groups to play with okay 
So what are the warning signs for this year, this period? Loss of interest in playing. If your child is not showing interest in playing, you should watch it. Frequent falling. While walking, the child is frequently falling. You should look into it. Difficulty manipulating small objects. This is also a matter of concern. Failure to understand simple messages. Inability to speak using several words. Little or no interest in food. These are the common issues found in the city dwellers. So the parents in city have to be very careful in watching all these small small activities of children in order to ensure whether the child is growing properly or not okay you got all these points all right let us jump on to the next period that is about five years what happens to the child at five years yeah the child moves in a coordinated way you see the difference in the previous stages and all. It just walks, jumps or stand. But if you see this stage, move in a coordinated way. <clears throat> so the mobility or the movement of the child changes drastically in order to follow certain instruction, in order to avoid hurdles or harm on the way. Okay. Next, the child speak in sentences and use many different words. It and the child understand opposites. Okay, knowing opposites to the commonly used word is very important to understand many aspects of life. So this is the ability of the child at this age to understand opposites. And the child plays with other children happily. The child dress without help. The child answers simple questions. The child counts five to 10 objects. The child wash his or her own hands. So the following are the advice for parents and care, caregivers, those who are taking care of children with, children with five years of age. The first thing we have to do is to listen to the children. This is the age for a child to express himself or herself. So for the past four, four and a half years, the child would have learned many things, understood the environment, understood many behaviors and activities of others. So the, at this age group, at, at this age, the child will be trying to express whatever he or she learned so far. So as adults, as parents, as caregivers, we need to spend a quality time to listen to them first to understand their development okay and we have to interact frequently with the child and we have to read and tell stories this is a continuous process even even at the age of adulthood we will be loving to listen to stories why not children they are fond of listening to stories beautiful um, beautiful stories right so uh, whenever we find time a quality time we have to read them or tell them beautiful stories this will develop them develop their imagination capacity okay right then we have to encourage the child to play and explore and listen to and answer all the child's questions and we have to maintain conversations also 
and we should encourage creative play, building and drawing. See, again, we have to limit television watching and we, we should ensure that they are watching good, good shows or good content on the television or mobile phone. And we should acknowledge and encourage positive behavior and set clear and consistent limits. We should provide consistent affection every day. And again, the, the child needs to actively engage with the peer group so that it is better to continue the play group or play school for the child. Okay. And what is the what are the warning sign for this age group of five year old? Fear, anger, or violence when playing with other children, which could be signs of emotional problem or abuse. If the child is in fear, if the child is always in anger playing when playing with others, these are the warning signs, serious warning signs. So we should concentrate on these behaviors and listen to them or talk to them in order to overcome these things, negative aspects of development. Oh, right. We are growing little by little. Now we are reaching the eighth year. What happens to the child in the eighth year? Physical development proceeds more gradually and steadily than in the early years. Muscle mass increases and small and large motor skills improve. Ability to understand and communicate abstract concepts and complex ideas has begun to develop. Span of attention increases and the, the child can understand or foresee future and think what happened in the past and what is present. The child's learning capacity is expanding so it will it will um, uh, move from simple mental activities to complex mental activities such as problem solving and and, and the child will try to explore the environment home house environment and school environment and tries to solve little little problems friends and interactions with her or his peer group are increasingly important and we should not stop the child interacting with other peer peers okay interest in friendship includes enjoying time with her or his peer group and turning to peers for information. So peer group interaction is very, very important, not only for playing, but for learning also. Self-control improves and understanding of more complex emotions increases. As we grow by year by year, not only the physical development, but also we develop cognitively, that is mentally. So, the, uh, and simultaneously, we, we develop our emotions, understanding emotions, okay. What are the advices for parents and other caregivers? We should be a good role model equally for boys and girls. This is important. Because across the world, the gender discrimination is prominent. This leads to many problems. If we want to eradicate this kind of discrimination or suppression because of the uh, gender, we should give or teach them from the beginning of developmental period. So we should not show inequality among boy children and girl children okay and we should encourage children to express feelings and beliefs 
and to solve problems. And we should recognize and support child's strengths and skills as well as limitations. This is also important. We should spend quality time with the child to talk, to listen and to discuss. Okay. And we should identify activities to do together. Okay. And we should facilitate and support child's playtime and with friends and extracurricular school activities. Acknowledge and encourage positive behavior and set clear and consistent limits. This is common for all the developmental periods. Show interest and become involved in your child's school, like becoming a member of PTA, Parent Teacher Association or caregivers group so that we will be closely monitoring what happens to the child in the school as well. So what are the warning signs at this age group? Difficulties making and keeping friends and participating in group activities. If your child is not maintaining friendship for a long time or not ready to or not interested to play with others or peer groups, you should watch what is happening to the child. Avoiding a task or challenge without trying or showing signs of helplessness. We should encourage the child to be very sportive and we should encourage them to attempt getting a victory is or success is not important but attempting to the task challenging to the task is very important trouble in communication communicating needs thoughts and emotion emotions if the child is not able to communicate well about or communicate clearly about what the child needs or what the child feels and what what, what the child thinks we should we should concentrate on it and we, we, we have to talk to the child closely and identify what is happening to the child wrongly okay and focusing on task if your child is having troubles in focusing on task understanding concepts we have to consult with them with their teachers or psychologist and if the child is expressing aggression shyness with friends when they are together, it is also a kind of problem. So these are the these are the important aspects of development, physical, cognitive, emotional, and social from two years to eight years of development. So in this, with this, let us conclude today's class by summarizing the important points. So today we have, uh, we have seen or discussed or learned the typical development of children between 2 to 8 years age. Advice for parents and caregivers to care children of 2 to 8 years. And the warning signs to watch for children of 2 to 8 years. So with this, we conclude this today's lesson. Hope you all un understood and enjoyed the today's lecture. Please go through your reference books in the list given for more learning or more reading on the today's topic. Thank you everyone. Thank you for patient listening. All the best.